today I'm gonna to show you how to use green screens and throw aliens in and stuff and get all crazy and whatnot with your editing. So we're gonna go straight to YouTube. So what we're gonna do, just like the video at the beginning, you saw how I put an alien on the beach. So this is how I did it. We're gonna type in alien green screen. And keep in mind that you can type in anything before the words green screen. And there are so many options on YouTube, free options on YouTube. As an example, just to sidetrack, you could even put an airplane, boom, airplane green screen. Or you can just type in green screen. I just said that to make a point. There's so many different green screens on YouTube where you just remove the green screen. I could put this guy, I forget who, oh, I don't know who that is. I meant him, not him. Who, who are you? Anyways, oh, he's Superman, I guess. Yeah, you see that? He's Superman, I guess. We're gonna go to Alien Green Screen, which is already over here, but for the sake of this example, I'm just gonna go follow through. Alien Green Screen. So you pretty much get the point. There's a lot of different things you can find on YouTube with green screens, so a lot of options to throw stuff into your videos. My favorite alien is right here. So what you're gonna wanna do so if you're using Final Cut Pro, then chances are you have the option to screen record if you're on a Windows, good job, I don't know how you're doing that. But what you wanna do is screen record right now. So if you're on Mac, you wanna just go to your QuickTime player and if it's not here in your dock, go to the top right and you hit the search bar, type in QuickTime player and then you hit enter and it would show up and you would click on it. So we're gonna click on QuickTime player, it's gonna take us to my Facebook, I guess but you'll know you're clicked on it when it says QuickTime Player at the top. So we're gonna go to File, hit New Screen Recording. I'm screen recording this tutorial, so I already did that, but you would hit that button and you'll know you're screen recording because you'll see this little square with a circle up here, right here. Or you could go to QuickTime Player, right click, and hit stop screen recording. That's another way you'll know or it just won't give you the option to screen record. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to YouTube and what you wanna do is make sure that you are playing this YouTube video at the highest quality, which we are, it is at 1080. We're just gonna click on that a second time and you would just pretty much play whatever part of the video you wanna download. So I just want this little side profile of the alien. Look, we got options though. We got we got coming at us, what? Look at all that, ooh, look at you, you scary boy. I just wanna take the side profile of this alien, so we're just gonna hit enter. We're just gonna let it play out. So what you would do next, is so you'd hit escape, and you would either click right here, which I'm not gonna do, or you would hit at the bottom, you would just right click and hit stop screen recording, and then you would now have that. After it does that, the video is gonna pop up on your screen, and in order to save it, you just have to exit out, and then it's just gonna give you the option to save the name as whatever you type in, and then where you wanna save it. I would suggest saving it in an organized spot where you'll be able to find it. And then next thing that happens is you go to Final Cut Pro and you wanna just go down to your finder. I saved it to my actual hard drive, so we're just gonna look at it, alien green screen. So boom, we're gonna drag that alien green screen right here, and I'm just gonna trim this to the point, like right here. This is, this is the little section where he just pops up. We're just gonna scrub to the end where this video ends and we're gonna cut it. And in order to get rid of all of these little toggles right here, we are just gonna crop right here. If you didn't see where that was, it's right here. We're just gonna hit, we're gonna click the arrow, hit crop, and we're gonna do trim. We're gonna leave it on trim, and then I'm just gonna boom right there. Actually, let's play that out. See, that's why we played it out, because clearly he just got out of our frame. So we're actually gonna widen that crop up a little bit and Okay, we're good. I think we're pretty solid at this point. Yep. now we're just gonna hit done. Boom. Now what I'd suggest doing, I mean, you don't have to do this. I was gonna say let's scale it up, but that's it really doesn't matter because we're just gonna get rid of the green screen, then you can size him for your image in whatever way you want. So next thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna maximize this so there's no distractions on my Facebook. We're gonna click on our effects right here. Boom, shakalaka and then we're gonna type in keyer. I'm gonna click on this keyer and drag it onto your clip, and boom, you just remove the green screen. And it's as simple as that. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull a video that we wanna use. To make this the easiest on yourself, I would suggest using a video that's shot static, which means on a tripod. All right, 
I found the video that I want to use. Now I'm just going to drag this onto my timeline. This is not static because I shot it on my drone and I had it do the boomerang effect. For this example, we're going to pretend it was shot on static and I just pressed shift H, which means hold, which also means freeze. So we're just going to freeze this shot right here. I do not want the frame to move. I just want it to stay still. Boom. So it's just staying still. And then boom, you got your alien on the beach. Now, and again, you can use this for anything with a green screen. And if you buy your own green screen, you can even put yourself in videos or make yourself fly or go Iron Man into the sky. Really anything you want. Boom, that's how you do it. I'm just gonna adjust this. And then, and then of course you can adjust your alien. Let's say I wanna make him huge. The sun is like at the highest point in the sky, so it's pointing down. It looks more realistic because if our shadows were going this way and then the shadow of the alien was underneath him, if you have a high attention to detail, you would notice something like that. So we're just gonna shrink this alien a little bit. We're gonna give it a little bit of a rotation so it looks like he's going down the beach. We're gonna start him right here. We're gonna hit done. And my video is recording and rendering right now, so it probably hates me. So it's a little laggy. Oh, not really, but that's what it looks like. So that is how you use green screens and add aliens to your videos. So now you know how I did it. I didn't go into Adobe Premiere or anything crazy like that and start computer generating images. But now you know how to do it in the most simple way possible. You know, it's not about the resources you have, it's about your resourcefulness. So I hope this all made sense. If you have any further questions, again, I encourage you to please reach out. But until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.